Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Loon. I hope you're all doing well. In this afternoon's video, we're going to be taking a look at another Matchbox 5-pack that I picked up again when I was out and about yesterday. Um, and we've also got some variations as well to be looking at. So we'll get straight into it and take a look at what I picked up. So it is the Coffee Cruisers 3, which is pretty cool. Um, as I said in the previous um, five pack unboxing, I think it was from possibly a few days ago, I can't remember now, um, there's been no new Matchbox stuff at the minute at all. Um, but there has been some pretty cool five packs. So that is a win. So let's take a look at what we've got. Let's just put the camera down. So. Right at the bottom here, we'll take a start. We've got this pretty cool, and it is the um, Dodge D200. And it's in the white, red, and yellow with the Matchbox motif, motorsport on the side. And this is a casting that I've ended up with quite a few variations of, which is quite funny, because I've always said in the past, I'm not particularly a variation collector but it's amazing how you end up with all these different variations. So anyway, this is the newest piece that I have, and it's pretty cool. I do like the Dodge D200. Quite a plain casting, but quite nicely done at the same time. So there you go, 68 Dodge D200. And I thought whilst I was at it, I would show some other variations that I got. So. I don't know which order that I got them in. I think possibly this might be the older one. So here it is in black. <coughs> and just notice they've got all got different wheels. So this has got these sort of chrome five spoke type jobbies. And then you've got these. So here it is in black. And then I got it in this awesome baby blue pale blue color with the tan interior which i quite like so pretty cool with the same same sort of wheels as this except these are gray and these are chrome i think it says matchbox on the wheels funnily enough but pretty cool and then we got it in this sort of a i'm not quite sure like a like a tangerine orange i suppose you could say and again in the in the sort of so it's got matchbox team matchbox i think out of all of the basic ones this is probably my favorite one as i quite like all the the uh sort of advertisement down the side looks pretty cool and again black interior and this has got sort of pretty cool looking wheels as well black sensors with chrome lips so to speak so i do like that particular piece and then the last one I've got is this one from the Matchbox Superfast. And it's obviously the Skyjacker with these dark windows. And it obviously has an orange interior and these orange true grip wheels that Matchbox do. And the, and the lights in the back are sort of tampoed in, I suppose you could say. And then again, the front's chrome. But still, quite a basic casting, but a cool one as well so like i said quite a few variations now so i have that one to add to it so let's move that aside and then this particular casting i don't think i have so it is the 35 ford pickup in this really nice i think it's a metallic yeah metallic green but this will be something at some point in the near future, I have no doubt. I will give it some engine detail and an interior color change and possibly some wheels, as I do like the paintwork. And as I've said before, you don't always have to do a custom by completely reach, you know, respraying, respraying the car. Um, a lot of the um, colors that Matchbox and Hot Wheels does is pretty cool. And sometimes they just need a little bit of help to bring out the potential which is something this this could look i mean this is a great casting as it is but it could look really good with like i said a lot with some engine detail and uh an interior change color and like i said a wheel swap and this could look 
really good. Just trying to see that's part, yeah, that's part of the engine. So that's the 35 Ford pickup, so that's pretty cool. And then this is another one that I have a variation of, but at the moment I think it's buried somewhere deep away, packed away, but this is the Corvette, Chevy Corvette. Now I think this is based on the, let's have a little look on the box, it says, yeah, 75. So it's the 75 Corvette, Chevy Corvette, Caprice, Caprice. But pretty cool in the gold, gold metallic. I have this in, in I have exact same casting, except it's red with the flames down it. And I think it's got gold wheels on that particular version. But like I said, it's not to hand to show. But I actually think this is better. I quite like it with the brown interior. So that is pretty cool. I know Tyrone from building the Ultimate Matchbox collection is a big fan <coughs> excuse me he's a big fan of this particular casting and has many different variations but this is it's like a I'm not quite sure it's got quite a rough effect like a matte gold matte so quite an interesting color so that's pretty cool and then we got if I can get it out and it is the 70, let's have a look what it is, is a 75 Chevy Caprice, is it? A little look closer, look underneath. <coughs> Excuse me. 75 Chevy Caprice. So that is pretty cool. In the blue. Let's just look at the box a second, two seconds. Three, two. Ah, got them. I've mixed them all up. So... This is the 75 Chevy Caprice. And I know this is a Corvette, but I was reading it wrong. This is the, this is the, what are we two? This just says Corvette T-top. And I think this is from about 79, the actual, what it's supposed to be based on. So I made a bit of a mistake there. So I was trying to read and hold the car at the same time. So yeah, so this is the, this is the Corvette T-top from about 1979, I should imagine. And this is the 75 Chevy Caprice. So, in the blue, which is pretty cool too, with all the chrome. So, pretty cool casting. No tampos back and front, but still pretty cool. And then I also have it in this, uh, well, it's like a metallic green with the, uh, it looks like a beige interior, but as you can see, it has got some seatbelt detail in there, so it's pretty cool. But again, no tampos back and front so pretty cool the last piece is the austin i think it's the 64 austin mini cooper and i do like this quite a bit this is pretty cool so obviously tampo front the lights and a chrome base which looks pretty cool and black roof and again it's got I'm trying to see what colour it is. It looks like dark brown. Is it red? I'm not quite sure. Let's have a look of camera two seconds. It's actually it looks like a, a burgundy interior. But it is a nice little mini nonetheless. And this would look really cool with a wheel swap on it. I may have to do a wheel swap on this at some point. Even though it looks, these wheels do look right. I must admit, Matchbox, when they get their wheels right, they do get them right. No rear details. Got a little center exhaust. But this would look cool with some spotlights. New set of wheels. Possibly some stickers on the window. Could make this look really, really cool. But, uh, but anyway, let's show the cars that came in the five pack very briefly so there they are so quite a strong five pack no novelty cars which is always a bonus as I said before it's not that I don't like novelty cars I just rather have proper cars but anyway with that please like share subscribe stay tuned for vint more vintage pieces vintage matchbox Mondays wheel swaps customs and all that good stuff to come I may do a wheel swap on this 
later on i don't know i've got a set of wheels i think will look very very good on this but anyway with that i'll see you all very soon thanks for watching hello and i'm back again very briefly i just thought i'd tag this on to the end of the video and as i said i was going to do a wheel swap and i couldn't resist it i ended up doing the wheel swap but i had a set of wheels in mind that i knew i that would fit this pretty much spot on and that's these gold they're not real riders they're true grip wheels i was actually doing a custom a while back and i had these wheels left over from a mash box that i was doing so i've stuck these wheels on gave it some number plates and made up some little spotlights out of some like little jewel things that i had i just glued them on the other way around <coughs> and painted them yellow which I thought would make them stand out and I've put some decals some new decals that I've got I've got a huge load of stickers and decals now so I thought I'd just try test them out see how they would look so I would put some Avon stickers in the rear window just as a test again the rear plates done and the rear lights are done so it's a really simple wheel swap and I think it looks really cool and it still rolls really nice. So there it is. Let's see if we can get the camera down a bit further. Anyway, with that, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.